Hey guys, welcome back to the next video in our series of Finding the Knight Rider episode filming locations. Now, if you're new to this series, we've already covered the first handful of episodes from season one. We're going in order. And today brings us to a fan favorite episode from season one, if not from the whole series. Trust Doesn't Rust, the debut of Car, the Knight Automated Roving Robot. What's also interesting about this episode is it is one of Knight Rider's first episodes to film almost exclusively in San Pedro, California. So this is San Pedro, just south of Los Angeles, west of Long Beach. You can see the uh, border here. Everything inside of these red dots is considered San Pedro. So luckily for this episode, we've identified almost all of the locations used. There are a couple we haven't, and those couple that we haven't, I can almost guarantee you are somewhere within these red dots. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dig in. Filming locations for season one episode of Knight Rider, Trust Doesn't Rust. <laughs> All right, we begin at the beginning, which is a great place to begin, as opposed to the end, which is a terrible place to begin. No one wants to begin at the end, or end at the beginning. So we're going to begin at the beginning. All right, the Knight Museum of Technology. Um, oddly enough, we're starting right off the bat with a location we have yet to identify. Again, most likely this is somewhere in San Pedro, California. At first, I thought this was... Um, the same location as the warehouse that we see in the final verdict. The final verdict was another episode that was filmed heavily in San Pedro, California, which we'll get to here soon in our series, but it's not the same building. So let's cycle through a few pictures here. So this is the building. And then this is coming from the other side. You can't really see too much because unfortunately all these scenes are at night. There's a sign back here. This looks like a road here. And then this is the parking lot for the, museum there's another shot where you see a little bit more of the building two large garage doors maybe another garage door down here maybe a dead end not sure and then from this angle again you can kind of see the other edge of the building so um let's see here yeah look now that door's mysteriously open it wasn't open here oh no it was open there never mind um yeah so that's really all we see of the night museum of technology so if you guys can find this building, comments, put it in the comments down below. Shoot us an email, nightriderhistorians at gmail.com. Let's find the Knight Museum of Technology. Who knows? Maybe Wilton Knight's pinball machine is still in there. All right, so I wasn't going to include this, but uh, this screenshot, because this is just stock footage. This wasn't actually a filming location for this episode, but I'll throw it in anyways, because it's such a neat location the home of the Knight Estate in the first half of the first season of the show. In reality, this is a uh, uh, the Greystone Mansion at 905 Loma Vista Drive in Beverly Hills. So here's a uh, shot of it, and oddly enough, it's the same um, location where we see Wilton and Devin talking. They talked right here, and Michael comes running up these stairs after running on this track in the pilot. So, and I believe you can tour this place, which is on my list to do one day. That would be awesome. And then we have this. This is another piece of stock footage. You can tell by the cars, right? I mean, and, and this doesn't look like it was in the 80s. This looks like it was stock footage from, I don't know, the 70s. How old is that Corvette? That's a 70s Corvette. So I'd say this was from the 70s. Um, again, not filmed for this episode, but it would still be neat to figure out where this was. So I'm going to leave this one to you guys. I didn't spend much time researching 
uh, this particular one because again it wasn't used this location wasn't used for the filming of this episode but there are a few clues we see was it say Rucker's cut price hardware union stage depot um, loans thrift shop so there's a little bit of clues here um, and the interesting thing about stock footage is this doesn't necessarily have to be in Los Angeles or California this could be a town in Missouri I don't know see if you guys can find this one all right guys to me this is going to be the coolest part of this entire video one location from trust doesn't rust i've always wanted to find was this one the location where tony and rev wake up in some alleyway after a car takes them away from the night museum of technology now finding a location like this is going to be next to impossible without any type of um call sheets or production documents that say where they were filming so all we had to really go by were a few clues and i want you to know i found this location and i'm going to show you how i found this location it's so neat and i found it specifically during the research for this um this episode we're doing now okay so we see tony and rev they get out of car we see a brick wall here we see uh, this white wooden paneling, maybe a garage door here, something like that, right? We turn to this angle, we see a concrete wall painted white with some graffiti on it, and you can kind of see an alleyway here with um, with some bricks on the building across the, the alleyway from it. Come over here, there's more of that background. We can see that concrete wall, so we know that even though the angles changed, it was all in the same location. And then we get this shot here where we see car actually leaving, right? We see the graffiti, we see the wall, we see the garage. We know it's all the same location. We, so moving out, there's that brick wall here. And then you can see that there's another kind of wall here with some interesting pattern to it. You know, there's, there's this decorative concrete here with this maybe a honeycomb pattern, something like that. And then that's really it, all right? But take a look at this. In, in trying to figure out where this location was, we see some clues in the background here, right? You see, I don't know what that tower is, something, a tower there, a small building here, and you see this large building here, right? And you can see it's got one window, then a set of two, set of two, set of two, 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 and one. Okay. So knowing this episode was mostly filmed in San Pedro, California. The first thing I did was just Google San Pedro, California. And this is what popped up. This aerial shot here. Okay, so let me bring it over a little so you can see it. Hang on. There we go. And look at the building that is front and center of this aerial shot. Window, double, 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 window. Now, of course, that doesn't tell us that this 100% is the same building, but hey, that's a really good start, right? So then we've got to figure out, well, the alleyway is somewhere where you can see this building. All right, so stay with me. So let's get a street view here. All right, so there's street view of this building. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, this has to be it, right? But if we go out of street view for a second, this building is right here, San Pedro City Hall, okay? So the harbor is over here. So we know that when we look at this, there's not a harbor between Kit and this building, right? So we know it wasn't this direction, all right? So that leaves us with three directions. And I just started with, one one direction not the band just choosing one direction and i chose west because that seemed to be the most um probable direction as to where the alleyway is in relation to this building all right so let's take our little person here and let's head back down so here we are so here's that building and we're going to just kind of head west all right we're going to head west a little bit and what else do we see here so we see this large building, but then we see a smaller building in front of it. 
and that smaller building looks to have maybe a bigger window here and then another set of double windows right here. So as I'm driving along virtually, I'm turning around every once in a while as I go, and I turn around and look at this. Look at this building. There's a set of double and a thicker one right here, right? Now we can see here that there's a bush obscuring this and maybe these windows had some bricks in between the top and the bottom, which maybe they don't anymore. But let's just go over if we can right there. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, I'm definitely on the right track now, right? Because we've got this building with this taller one behind it. All right, so then it looks like, well, there's might be a road here and then a big open field and then a road and then an alleyway. So if we turn, go back out onto the main street here, see there's your perspective, there's that little building, there's the bigger one, and we turn around here, well, there's no longer an empty field here, there's now a Crown Plaza, but that's not going to stop us. Let's just head down a little bit further. So there's still, this has all been built up. This looks like a newer building too, doesn't it? So let's keep going. And here I'm thinking, at this point, well, that alleyway was probably like right where this building was and it's completely gone, which wouldn't be surprising um, because you look at it from this perspective, and you think, wow, that's a long distance. You know, you look at it here, that building looks like there's just like one block here, room for one building, and then there's those buildings. But I decided, well, I'm not going to give up quite yet. Let's just keep going down a little bit further. And let's just, I don't know. Here, we came to this intersection. So you can see how far away we are from everything else. Stick with me. I hope you're enjoying this. So then we're going to go down this road here, Center Street. And then I come across this alley right here. And I see this. Does that look familiar? Remember this right here? There it is. I found the location. So now we're going to go back this little alleyway and da, 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 there it is. That is the location where car was parked, where Tony and Rev, where they wake up and then they have their big conversation and want to go get breakfast and then car drives off this way, almost wrecks into someone. So if you look at it from here, bring those two kind of side by side as much as we can. Come on. Let's make this small. So there we go. So you can see how much it's changed. These buildings now obscure the view, but it is still there. There's the same, I don't know if it's the same telephone. It's not, a, it looks like maybe a new telephone pole. Look, they still keep their dumpsters in the same location too. It's not just ridiculous. So if you're looking for this location, it's, it's the alleyway near 634 South Center Street in San Pedro, California. A hidden gem where Carr was hiding out. All right, next up we have uh, Car, Car's uh, drive with Tony and Rev, their initial drive once they leave that uh, hideout. So pretty much all the driving scenes where you see like buildings in the background for this episode we're all filmed on Pacific Avenue in San Pedro. So this one specifically was filmed right around 967 Pacific Avenue in San Pedro. So if you look in the corner here, you see this Coast Federal Savings Bank. See how the uh, the corner of the bank is rounded. You got a door here and a little bit of wall here and maybe a, a window right here. So this is, that building still exists right here, 967 South Pacific Avenue. Um, obviously it's not a chase bank, but you can see there's, there's that wall, there's that window. That's where it said coast, what does it say? Coast federal savings right across here back in the day. Okay. Next up is another favorite location in this episode, the three rings restaurant. So we see, um, car come to this intersection here and do a 360 or a, not a 360, a 180 and then uh, head over to the Three Rings restaurant, which is right here. So car, you see they're driving past Three Rings, 
then they're going to do a 180 and come back in up through this entrance right here and three rings is off to the right this location was probably the easiest to find which we've known for years pacific avenue ninth street so let's look at it today and it's now an o'reilly auto parts the building is still there we can see back in the day the entrance was on the corner here now it has moved but you can see where the entrance used to be right there so car spins around we see a firestone tire station so if we spin around there it is looking geez very much like what it did back then but now it's the american tire depot and then spinning around spinning around some more there's newberries which i think was this building right here yeah yeah this was newberries now it's a 99 cent discount club that's exciting and then spins around pulls into the three rings and there's kind of a better perspective so if we make like car and go in here there we go el taco el taco is the location that they used for um the three rings restaurant so if we look at it here we can see a, a gutter a downspout in this orange door with a window and then the second window let's see what it looks like now yeah so whoops hang on there we go so there's that door there's that window there's that second window so right here is where the giant uh mustard bottle and the um menu was located right here so then car crashes through giant ketchup and then comes through here and goes back out onto the street so there's a gas station over here we can see that um, there's a wall here so i don't think we can go any further there this is all now blocked off it looks like so instead let's go around to the front go to the front here so that gas station was here it's no longer there but if we turn around go a little bit further and you can see here this here's that brick wall this brick wall but look in the intervening years they actually built this out so it used to be a plate an outdoor seating area now it looks like they built it out to be maybe a drive-through yeah drive-through open so there you go el taco 917 south pacific avenue just go to the intersection of pacific avenue and ninth street and you'll see all these wonderful goodies still all still there since 1982 all right moving along now we cut to michael and kit driving and they are also on pacific avenue at the intersection of pacific avenue and 15th street and if you look at this uniquely shaped sign it looks like it was the y and s auto body shop if we head over there today that sign is still there it's now the british european auto still there though okay so check this out so um, we now cut to Michael um, being towed by the camera truck, uh, having the scene inside a kit. And check out this building in the background. So this very block-like looking building. Note the square windows with a rectangular window uh, in the center at the top. So if we go over here, we're about 9 922 South Pacific Avenue. There's that building right there, the block-looking building. So they're right here. And then check this out so then it advances and we see them continuing to drive down that road so note um so we got a big wall here we got what looks like a parking lot here and then see this building right here with a little bit of an overhang and then a wall back here so if we turn and we go for a little drive a little more of a drive and zoom in there's that wall and right here there's that overhang and there's that other wall and what's really interesting is here's the three rings restaurant right here the one that you know they're going to bring up police frequency and figure out where the robbery happened it was right here and literally in this scene they just passed it three rings is right here right beside them 
and then it turns and we cut to this angle here and this one we see this all state savings so if we were to continue on this way just a little bit keep going down to the intersection of pacific avenue and 7th street there's that building still there today you can see the the fancy concrete work up here still there today now it is the croatian cultural center of los angeles all right so i'm having all the fun here i'm gonna let you guys have some fun um, let's find this location which i also believe was filmed specifically for trust doesn't rust in san pedro so the only clue we have here is i'm pretty sure this says mesa street m-e-s-a street there is a mesa street in san pedro the question is what is the intersecting street here if we go over here you can see here's mesa street and it runs many many blocks north and south so i'm gonna leave this for you guys i want you guys to tell me where is car headed what road is this what's this intersection mesa street and something else in san pedro this building if it's still there might be a big big clue all right next up we have this scene where car is being chased by the police and he goes around a corner and evades them if you look in the background here we see this large brick building with the hotel sign and as we uh, advance the slides car takes a hard left here and then goes right behind this red brick building so pulls in and goes hides right back here then the police continue on that starts at 283 west 7th street there's the building that you see that's the brick building head down this way and there is this building right here still looking pretty much the same little different and then car heads down this road and cuts right right down this alley that's where car goes and then the police continue on this way and he evades them and next up is this driving scene see i told you we i've found most of this the filming locations for this episode even the minor ones like this so if you look in the background we see this Coles battery building two windows says Coles battery right across the top head over here we're at the intersection of Pacific Avenue once again and Fifth Street in San Pedro and if we advance just a little bit look there's that building it no longer says Coles battery across the top but if we head down this way just a little bit it's still Coles. Exide, isn't that a battery? So it's still Coles battery, I think. Right there. How cool is that? And then we see them drive a little further. So if we go back up to the main intersection here, one moment. And we travel this way. We should see EP Body Shop. Did I go a little too far? Let's go back a little bit. So this building back here is that EP body shop. Yep, look. See the roof panels right here? There they are, the same ones. And the same, uh, what are those, exhaust fans, whatever. There you go. All right, next up is a memorable location simply because it is the only time in the entire series where you see Kit's turn signal on, in the front at least. So this one, if you look in the background, we've got Al's Cove, looks like a bar, and he's turning left. And we see kind of this apartment building with the fire escapes. This is located um, at the intersection of Center Street. And what street are we on? Uh, 7th Street and Center Street. So there's the building that was Al's Cove. And then they turn and go down here. And there's the apartment building. Looks identical to what it did back then. How cool is that? At least the top does. All right, a little more cruising down Pacific Avenue. We can see in the background we've got this Moretti Tire Service. 
Googling that, that says that used to be at 303 South Pacific Avenue, which is right at this intersection. So it looks like maybe this has been changed a little bit. I don't know if it was right on this intersection, but, um, or maybe this one. It might have been here, which you can tell this is all recent development. All right, and next up we have yet another driving scene. I think if we back up a little, yeah, we see this kit turns left, passes this green building. So this is the road he turns left from. I think, yeah, this building right back here is this building back here. This is all new, and you can tell by the construction it's all new. But then he turns. So this green building, the Dancing Waters Club, maybe? With Barrel House beside it. Um, here's that building. As you can see, it's a little run down. Same building, though. Still there. There's that oval sign with, there's that oval sign. So yeah, it looks uh, not the type of area you'd want to hang out in at night. All right, so finally we're at another location that I need your help identifying if that's even possible, because this one's going to be really tough. But again, probably in San Pedro, this is uh, Carr's second hideout. Um, we can see the concrete block wall behind them, um, a green fence with some barbed wire, almost looks like maybe there's a sign here, and then there's some kind of a building, maybe a loading dock here, something like that, and that's all we get of this location. So see if you guys can figure out where this most likely San Pedro location is. And another location that um, we need your help finding, if it's still there, would be um, this warehouse, the warehouse Tony and Rev's hideout. Um, chances are this is somewhere near the San Pedro pier, um, just given what we see around it. Um, and we see the climax of this episode takes place in that same location. So see if you guys can find the location of Carr's hideout. All right, so next up we have this sign, which again, you don't see too many details, but we can see some orange back here, some green of a building. All right, so keep that in mind and let's go to the next location. So we have this scene where Carr kidnaps Bonnie, right? We see Michael jump on the roof of car. We see a building back here. And then it continues. At first, originally I thought this was Griffith Park, but it's not. See this building up here? And we have this whole scene through here. So this all was filmed at Peck Park, 560 Northwestern Street, San Pedro. So here's an aerial view of Peck Park, and I don't believe, yeah, see, none of the, um, whoops, none of these roads in here you can um, have street view on, unfortunately. But I'm guessing that that whole thing took place on these roads. So we just need some one of you guys to go to Peck Park and scope this out for us. Because all we have are these like little areas where we can, like there's the skate park at Peck Park. That's a nice skate park. But, um, let's see what else we have here while we're... Oh, so that might be like an entrance to Peck, oh, community center. Let's check one more real quick. If we zoom in, let's just see if there's any, let's try this one right down here. It will give us an idea of kind of what these, so this looks like a walking trail here. 
Uh, sorry, let's try one more. I'm just trying to see if there's any any dots. No, see, there's no dots on any of those trails. Yeah, see, this is going to be hard to find without actually going there, but um, our research tells us Peck Park is where this was filmed. So maybe one of you guys can get out to Peck Park and take pictures. I don't know. All right, so then a chase ensues, and I don't know if this was still in Peck Park or in roads around San Pedro. So we can just see there's not really too many clues here. Wrong way, do not enter. See, wrong way, do not enter makes me think this might still be a park, but I could be wrong. Driving, and you got this scene. This, by the way, is the same truck that we see in No Big Thing that Devin jumps the uh, fence to to um, escape the prison. That's the exact same truck. Anyways, but um, then we see this house. And someone mentioned to me at one point that this might be Mulholland Highway or Mulholland Drive, but I don't know for sure. But we do see this house up here. And the house is here. Kid comes down here, screeches around to the right. And then takes off and then this house is down there so that first house we saw was on this upper road did a big u and then there's this house so that's all the clues we have maybe you guys can figure this out but next we have these scenes and these we do know where they're at these are um this is the back lot at universal studios so kit comes through here this building right here is what was uh the white rock general store in good day at white rock and um, Kit flies through here. This is Courthouse Square, right where Back to the Future was was uh, filmed. All right, we got another one we need to find. This is Kit uh, driving along in San Pedro. Looks like a row of palm trees here. And as as Kit passes, we see more palm trees. And this is the Vincent Thomas Bridge, which is in San Pedro. So this should help inform us as to what road this is. So I'll let you guys find that one. All right, next up we have another driving scene. Kit's driving down Pacific Avenue here. Let's see, and then he turns right onto 14th Street. The big giveaway here is the Iacono's tune-up building. So if we look now, here's that same building right there. You can see it's painted black, but you can see the, the uh, building is still the same. It's just been all repainted, but Kit turns goes down this road. So intersection of Pacific Avenue and 14th Street in San Pedro. All right, so this might be the inside, in, in, in universe, this is the inside of Tony and Rev's um, hiding place at the pier. Um, hard to tell if this is the exact same building that we saw as the outsider, if that's just an establishing shot, but maybe this is another clue. It sure looks like it could be based on the windows, the window panes that we see. Alrighty, so next up is uh, the location where Carr and Tony come to rob the museum. We see this establishing shot, looks like some kind of an alleyway, maybe with some warehouses on the side. This is actually one of the few locations in this episode that was not filmed in San Pedro. This was a little bit further north on Artemis Street in Los Angeles. So here's what this place looks like today. Now, this building right here was not there in 1982. So you can see this building right here, it looks like it says uh, maybe shale engineering, something like that. This building is now gone, but see this red brick building in the background? It looks like maybe there's a window right there. If we zoom in, that's this building right here. So that is all still intact. It's just this building has been um, changed out. All right, and then we move to this scene where car is crashing through the wall of the museum. So a couple interesting things about this. Um, you can clearly see that they built this fake concrete block wall just for car to smash through. In fact, the garage door you can see is open right here. So they just built this for car to crash through. There's another door here and a man door over here. I'm not ruling out the possibility that this is the exact same location as the Knight Museum of Technology at the beginning of the episode, but don't know 100% for sure. Um, so I would say, in terms of finding this location, you know, if we, 
if we can find the Knight Museum of Technology location and if we can scour the outside of that building and see if there's a place where there's two garage doors with a man door to the left, um, maybe we're on to something. But um, other than that, I'm not sure how we would necessarily find this location. But you guys have wowed me before, so see if you can find this one. All right, so now this scene where uh, Kit slides up to the door and car turbo boosts over Kit. Now, you can clearly see, because of the way they framed this, that this is just a facade, a fake facade in front of a real building. Um, and we get just enough clues that I think I know where this building is. So if you look here, you can see that there's a dark tan on the bottom of the building, then a lighter tan, then some brick at the top, um, some kind of a, 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 almost like a pillar right there, and then the opening. And then if we go to the only other angle we see of this scene, kind of from the other side, you see pretty much the same thing. There's the tan, the lighter tan, and, and kind of a pillar right there. So I think it's this building. Birth uh, 58, 59, 60, Port of Los Angeles. Um, at least maybe one side of this building. Um, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be on the side here because there's a um, a dock here, and if you look back, we can see that there is no dock here. It's all just flat pavement. So I think it's got to be one of the ends of this building. So you can see there's the darker color, there's the lighter color, there's the the pillar we were talking about, and there's this opening. This one is taller than this one, maybe that was added. But you know what, let's take a drive here, a virtual drive to the other end of this building. And let's just see, geez, it's pretty long. Come on. So this is Signal Street. This is San Pedro. Yeah, so I don't think it's that building. Come on, we're almost there. Hopefully we can see the other end of this. Uh, actually, you know what? Now that we're seeing this, it's probably not this end because look, the harbor's right there. And that's not enough room for kit to turbo boost or car to turbo boost and land without going in the water. So then if we reset back to the other end, the only other one we have here is birth 57. And in some of the screenshots of this episode, you can actually see this birth 57 in the background. But again, see this building, this just doesn't look like it. Let's check the other end. This one's a much shorter building. Just to be sure, I'm pretty sure we found it though. Yeah, see this end doesn't even look that's completely different. So I'm going to call it, I feel comfortable saying that the car turbo boost over kit from the quote unquote county museum took place um, on this one right here. Not this one. This is where they built it and that's where car turbo boosted. So that's at 2221 Signal Street in San Pedro. All right, so moving on, then we're back outside of the museum. And in reality, this is now back on that Artemis Street um, facing the other direction. So you can see the crossroad is Mission Street here in Artemis Street. But we see this red brick, we see this concrete building. So if we go back to this scene and we just turn around, there you go. There's that scene right there. Now, car, I think that's car. Or is it Kit? Maybe it's Kit. Does the 180 here. You can see some of the crew members in the background. Um, but you see all of this kind of undeveloped area. Well, this is all um, let's, filled with this building now. So this is all new. So this view is not the same as it once was. Um, but then as we continue on... We cut back and we see this building with the large glass pane windows, and that's this right here, I believe. Or no, is that building torn down? Let's see here. Yeah, because you see this. Oh, you know what? Here, if we go down a little bit, a little bit more, 
there you see this building in the background here with the two windows that's this building right here yeah and there's the small window right there that you see right here so yes yeah, so and this is all correct this is that that same building and then looks like maybe there's a dock in the front of that but yeah this right here this dock you can see it right here although it looks like maybe it used to have a ramp but no longer does in fact look at this you can see how there's two openings in the wall right here there's where they're, they've been filled in help that's pretty neat so then check this out so then we see this scene of bonnie trying to calibrate the laser and this is still on artemis street there's that building we were just talking about with the dock is right behind this truck and then they cut away for a second when they cut back bonnie's still working on it but all of a sudden look they're at the port of los angeles um birth 57 there so they they went from here which is in um, los angeles to basically hang on to basically this angle right here see how it says port of los angeles that's that port of los angeles so they in the blink of an eye they went from san pedro from los angeles down to san pedro and then back i guess they weren't worried about continuity back then all right, so then check this out. This is car turbo boosting over kit and eventually over the police. This was actually two separate turbo boosts in two separate locations. So this scene here with car turbo boosting over kit, the, the launch of car going over kit, you can see this warehouse in the background, very nondescript, don't know where this location is. So you internet location sleuths see if you can find this but then it immediately cuts to this and you can clearly see looking at the background this is a totally different location and in fact this location is the side of birth 58 59 and 60. so if we look here we can see the um, again that that dark tan and the lighter tan you see these grouping of windows with these indents where doors are um, and you can see here there they are today. So in fact, I think we can even nail this down because this looks like the front edge of the building. So if that's the front edge of the building, one, two, three, so like four doors back. So that's this front edge, one, two, three, four. So that turbo boost was literally right here, right, right at five, four, three. That's where they did the jump right there. Isn't that cool? And see, then you see um, car landing and continuing on. And look, there's birth 57 right there. So the turbo boost was here, and then it continued on. The driving was right here, birth 57. And then we come back to Michael and Bonnie, and they are back on Artemis Street. This is that Baker Engineering. You can see them drive straight through the intersection, and there's this red brick building. And that's this red brick building. This is where that Baker Engineering was that's been torn down and rebuilt. So literally, they were all over the place with, with this episode. All right, so then we see a brief scene of Carr driving over the, the, the infamous uh, single-lane white uh, bridge. Um, this scene was not filmed for this episode. This white bridge had been used in a number of Knight Rider episodes. My guess is this was unused footage from um, No Big Thing. But this is the entrance to the New Hall Orchards. Um, which we've covered and we covered in the uh, the no big thing episode commentary all right so then we have these scenes of uh, driverless car running away and then Michael and Kit following cruising up this hill this is all at the Royal Palm State Beach um, in uh, San Pedro and this is the K F oh, what is it K Fiorentino Drive right here so this is the the road up to to there this is where they were were coming through here so i believe if we go back here so you see yeah you see kit coming around the corner to the right there that would be him coming down here and spinning off this way and then a few seconds later we see him flying off this way all right, and then we're at the street racing um, location, the, the final showdown, and this I believe is just right at the top. Let's let's uh, 
Let's take a quick drive up K Fiorentino Drive. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. So if we drive all the way up here, I guess I, all right, pause. There we go. Okay, so we're up. Um, this is right above Royal Palm State Beach. This is on um, West Paseo del Mar in San Pedro. So this is the stretch you see here. This whole stretch here. It looks like there's maybe a bridge right there. That's probably this right here. Yeah, I think this is right where we need to be. Uh, looks like maybe there's a pull-off here with something yellow. I don't know if that's... Oh, that's this pull-off right here, I bet. It won't let me go any further for some reason. Oh, that does. So that might be this pull-off right here. And then car goes off to the side to his demise. Interestingly, um, so car... This is the site of where car supposedly crashes. But then, um, in reality, uh, in Kit versus Carr, two years later, we see that Carr was at Paradise Cove in Malibu. So just out of curiosity, we're just going to put in here, um, let's see here, if we can figure out directions to Paradise Cove. And let's just see how far it is. An hour and 13 minutes. So look at this. So car fell off the cliff supposedly here, but then John Stanton and Mandy and Kit vs. Carr found him all the way up here. Maybe he drifted <laughs> it's all the way up here um, for two years and then got buried in the sand up here. I don't know. It's fun to think about. Whew, all right, guys, that is the end of Trust Doesn't Rust. This was a really, really fun one to do. And like I said, we got like 95% of the locations. So those few, those 5% were missing. It's up to you guys to find them. So next up in our filming location series, we're going to, to cover the episode Inside Out. Inside Out was actually the second episode filmed for the series, even though it didn't air until later in the first season. Let me know down in the comments if you find any locations, if you like this series, um, or if you just want to say hi. As always, thanks so much for watching. Catch you soon. Hello, friends. It's me, Kit. When I'm not out fighting crime, I like to follow my friends at nightriderhistorians.com. Check it out. <laughs>